We've talked about some of the heavyweights uh, for the sport in 2011 in terms of championships, but what about some of the drivers that may be flying under the radar and may step up and really get noticed this year? Ricky Craven, Marty Smith, Andy Petrie, guys, let's think about somebody in your mind that, that maybe didn't get noticed a lot last year, but should get noticed a lot in the year to come. Well, a guy that I shared the racetrack with, Jerry, before I retired, who absolutely gets little attention, doesn't bring any attention to himself, but is an outstanding driver and has racer instinct. He knows how to race, and his name's David Rudiman. He's the most self-deprecating guy in the garage. I remember you saying that last year. I believe Western. that if he can establish the same level of confidence in himself that I have in him, I think he makes the chase. Because having shared the racetrack with him, he's not only fast, he's not only talented, but he knows how to race. And it's very difficult to teach a driver that. Sometimes it takes years. Sometimes drivers never, never establish it. He has that. It's his fourth year in the sport, in, in, in the Sprint Cup Series, uh, fourth full season. He's with an organization that has matured. I think David Ruderman could be the surprise in the chase. Piggybacking right off you said, uh, off what you said, Joey Logano has learned how to race. Mm -hmm. uh, he finished the year with several top tens, certainly has learned how to negotiate 500 miles, uh, started standing up for himself about mid-season. And uh, I just see, I see a whole lot of potential in that kid now. I think everybody had these high expectations. Oh, Mark Martin found him. Oh, he's jumping in the 20 car. And everybody was let down when he first started. We, our expectations were entirely too high. Now they should be high. And I'm going to talk about a guy that lives under the radar. Matt Kenseth yes. is one of those who, guys. Who is that again? Matt Kenseth. I know, <laughs> hey, I know he has, he's won the title. He, he's a championship driver, but he flies under the radar so much that you don't, he's not the first name you think of when you say, who's going to challenge Jimmy yeah. Johnson next year? Yeah. It might be Matt Kenseth. I really believe that he has the cars, the, everything's starting to come together. When you saw what happened with Roush Fenway and Ford at the end of last year, and if they carry that through, Matt Kenseth is the guy that can ride that horse to the championship, and I, I believe he, he is with the guy. And I know when you talk about flying under the radar, he's not, he, he's not one of those that you, you know, don't consider a, a contender. But he does, uh, he does fly under the radar. He, I think he'll be the he guy. He keeps you in the game, doesn't he? And he doesn't beat himself, and that's one of the strengths of Jimmy Johnson. I, I, I agree with you. And we could add a couple of names like A.J. Allmendinger and Brad Keselowski, but one of the guys I think has been on the radar, but I think will be a big blip. In 2011, Dale Earnhardt Jr. gets back to victory lane early in the year, gains momentum, gains confidence, and he's the junior of old.